All right. The question is, if, if we're providing free content, how do you balance that versus selling? How, okay. So the simplest thing is 80-20 um, rule. So 80% of your posts, uh, free content, and 20% are offers. Um, if, if more shy, make it 90-10 rule, you know, 90% free content, you know? So if you think about well, how, um, so let's say that you make, uh, uh, for, you know, example, right? Example, example, uh, two content posts per week, right? So then basically, um, if you're doing two content posts per week, uh, then every two and a half weeks, you make an offer, right? Because every two and a half weeks, you will have five pieces of content around. And then you can say, hey, just want to remind you all that I have this coaching program. Or, hey, want to remind you that I have a, a course coming up or something like that. And uh, yeah, so I think that's a very nice ratio that you can basically keep going forever. Um, but when, you know, uh, exception, right? Um, during a concerted launch, consider, uh, during a launch, uh, you can do multiple offer promo, promo pieces. I think that's acceptable, you know? So, you know, if you're not launching something, um, generally the 80-20 rule is great. But when you are like, all right, hey, I'm, I'm launching a course. It's starting, you know, next week or two weeks from now. Then it's okay to make several pieces, uh, several several posts in a row about that. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Any any questions about that? Or so far so good. Yeah. Yeah. So in terms of just posting, I guess, um, gosh, there's lots of different weight. There's there's lots of. Um, growing the audience organically. I think I just want to be able to just concentrate on writing really good content and then yeah. it's, gonna, it's gonna get out there, right? Because I think, you know, I could start thinking about Facebook ads and like hashtags and all of the other like things that you, the mm -hmm. more advanced techniques you, you teach, yeah. right? But I do, I just want to keep things very simple because I can get very, sure. you know, just sure. overwhelmed quite yeah. quickly. So yeah. Yeah, or organic growth is, is by luck. No, really, it's by luck. I mean, uh, sure, quality matters, right? Quality of content matters, um, but it's still by luck because you can't really predict what the audience is going to say is quality content. That's the hardest thing to do is we think something is great and we put it out there and people don't get it because we're, we're naturally more advanced than our audiences about our topic because we've been thinking about it longer. And we have certain experiences that they haven't had, you know, or certain interpretations of experiences that they haven't work through right so you know eventually if you want to grow your audience on a steady basis um steady growth or steady or predictable growth uh re growth requires um steady use of ads you know fb ig uh linkedin google ads you know pick pick one you don't have to do all of them obviously just pick one or pick two or whatever um, and steady, steady uh, use of collabs. Um, you know, organic. I would say SEO is also is also a great growth method, but it's also a little bit more. It's more luck based and less steady or predictable. Uh, I mean, once you have some results and you, you start to being a little bit more predictable, but, but these are more predictable. Ads and collabs. Collabs are basically you getting together with um, a colleague and interviewing each other. That's the simplest collab. There's many types of collaborations, but uh, Winnie interviews uh, Sarah, Sarah interviews Winnie, and then you do that, you try to do that two to four times a month, and that's a steady growth there, right there. So easy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks.